we are in the middle of the tribulation right now. What do you think? How can we know when the tribulation begins? Now, you really got to get this one right here because Pat Robinson of the 700 Club fame, who started out at some Freemasonic church when he started. It actually is there. He started out in Freemasonic. I didn't know they had a Freemasonic church, but that's where he starts out. He's asked right here from Chris, I've heard people say that we are in the middle of the tribulation right now. What do you think? How can we know when the tribulation begins? And and Pat Robinson does not cease to, um, I won't say he amaz he's not amazing, but he's, it's just surprising what comes out of his mouth. Listen to this right here. He's going to say that this rapture, this this rapture philosophy, this 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 false doctrine that you've been hearing about the rapture, where people say, "Listen, we're gonna be if you're a good Christian, you're gonna be raptured out of here." He's gonna say that it came out of China. He's gonna say it was Chinese people or Chinese Christians who made up this rapture thing. I mean, can you believe that? Right? Can you, are you a, uh, are you a Bieber? You know, are you a Pat Robinson Bieber? Hear this. Well, I, I don't know how we know for sure, but <clears throat> whatever it is, it'll be worse than that. But I, I think, uh, you know, they taught this thing in China some years ago that uh, if you were a Christian, uh, you were going to be raptured. And stop right there. They taught this thing in China. He's saying that the rapture comes from China, right? It basically comes out of Chinese. He's not going to tell you the truth, right? Or the whole truth. This is where deception comes in. The devil's called a deceiver, right? Because he puts some truth in it, but then he spins it. He pivots it, right? They taught this thing in China among the Christians in China. How did China encounter Christianity? Well, from the Protestant British Anglo European Anglo American missionaries that went to China, as well as the Catholics as well. The Catholics were there, the Roman Catholics in China as well, old Roman Catholic Chinese out there. But really it was the Protestants coming out of Britain. Remember Britain, how Britain got all the Chinese people on the heroin and on the drugs and everything so that they can control their like Hong Kong and everything. In other words, they were they were peddlers of drugs, you understand, the white people, the Europeans out of Europe in order to, 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 to get the Chinese things. They wanted the Chinese wanted the British not to, you know, to get out of our country, basically. So what they did, the American, uh, the, the British, what the British did, the parents of the American enterprise, they basically ran drugs with the British East India Company. Opium. I think it was opium. They use opium like, you know, they're over there in that part of the world. Now heroin is like all over the place. You heard about the guy who died and everything like that. Okay, that point aside right here. Let's just rewind this for a moment because this is astounding, right? You know, this is like dumbfounding. We found the dumb right here. And, and spared from any tribulation. Okay. So here these Christians are, and Mao Zedong and these commies come in and take over, and they begin killing and massacring the Christians. It was a horrible bloodletting. And so now Christians over here really need to learn from this. A lot of those who are believing in this rapture thing. Pat Robinson says that the rapture came out of China. Instead of going back to where the because if he does that, he's going to be talking about his own people. Right, his his own European Christian people who made a whole lot of mistakes. Right, six thousand year old Earth, flat Earth, black people result of a curse on Ham. Then when people got to read the Bible, they say, well, it's curse on Canaan, and they say, yeah, Canaan was a black person too. But yet we study Canaan; it goes up into Indo-European history, comes out of Canaan and everything like that. But be that as it may, let's rewind this one more time. Let the whole clip play. And, and 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 we'll be out of here. Just hear Pat Robinson in his own kind of words about this whole rapture thing, right? When the tribulation begins. Well, I, I don't know how we know for sure, but <laughs> whatever it is, it'll be worse than that. But I, I think, uh, you know, they taught this thing in China some years ago that uh, if you were a Christian, uh, you were going to be raptured and, and spared from any tribulation. Okay. 
So here these Christians are, and Mao Zedong and these commies come in and take over, and they begin killing and massacring the Christians. It was a horrible bloodletting. And so these Christians said, well, God must have forsaken me, so they fell away from their faith because of false teaching. I want you to get that point right there. People falling away from their faith because of false teaching. But what he does not point out or expose is who are the false teachers? Is there a reason why Pat Robinson is not exposing the false teachers of this rapture theology or ideology or idolatry? It's because it was European missionaries, Protestant missionaries, missionaries much like Christian broadcasting, you know, who spread these 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 um these these false teachings these errors i don't know you don't know none of us know about when a quote tribulation is but jesus talks about a time that is so bad so that if it weren't for the end of this it were not shortened there wouldn't be any human being alive on the face of the earth that's what he teaches you read it very carefully. Unless those days were shortened, there will be no flesh alive. So we haven't come to a time like that. But Stop, stop for a moment. We have come to a time like that. And if you watch this whole show, he's talking about what's happening with the foods, all the sugar. You have when people try to avoid the carbohydrates, the high fructose corn syrup, which is causing diabetes, people getting their arms and limbs and fingers um, amputated and, and just broken bodies, broken spirits, talking about the, he doesn't go into the GMO so much, but also the GMO as well. What's happened to the wars and the rumors of wars, what's happening with all of the, um, dysfunctions between male and female and gender bending. We are in such a time right now. That is the truth of it. So what he's spreading right here is more false teaching, right? Because he's not willing to single out his own people. He'll point to anybody. He points all the way to China for the origination. If you were to watch Pat Robinson, you believe, oh, that came out of China back when Mao Zedong and, and Zedong, it, it sound like Satan too. This is where they will go with their false teaching. Been periodic tribulations of people who are Christians have suffered, and uh, the question is, God is still on the throne. He still loves you, and he, you have to be faithful in the midst of it. And uh, when he said, "These are they that have come out of the great tribulation," that's in Revelation. These are people who who endured, and now they're they're in heaven. And uh, the so-called tribulation martyrs. I, I but in terms of what date, when, and what, I don't know, and I don't think any of us do. And think about those poor Christians in North Korea and what they've gone through. Oh, some horrible. of them just horrible. burned and yeah. the horrible torture. I'm sure they feel like they're in it. And how about some of the like the black peoples brought to the Americas and the Caribbean and the other peoples and the Africans and the Asians and other people who are violated by false Christians coming in the name of Jesus and saying that they are Christ and Christians spreading false philosophies only to steal, murder, or kill and destroy. I'm sure they feel like they've went through tribulation as well. What do you feel? 